Most of the male reproductive system is located outside of the body. These external structures include the penis, scrotum, and testicles. The penis is the male organ used in sexual intercourse. It has three parts, the root, which attaches to the wall of the abdomen, the body, or shaft, and the glands, which is the cone-shaped part at the end of the penis. The opening of the urethra, the tube that transports semen and urine, is at the tip of the penis. The penis also contains a number of sensitive nerve endings. The body of the penis is cylindrical in shape and consists of three circular shaped chambers. These chambers are made up out of a special sponge-like tissue. This tissue contains thousands of large spaces that fill with blood when the man is sexually aroused. As the penis fills with blood, it becomes rigid and erect, which allows for penetration during sexual intercourse. The skin of the penis is loose and elastic to accommodate changes in penis size during an erection. That's Mama Luigi to you! <laughs> Semen, which contains sperm, is expelled through the end of the penis when the man reaches sexual climax. When the penis is erect, the flow of urine is blocked from the urethra, allowing only semen to be ejaculated at orgasm. The scrotum is the loose, pouch-like sack of skin that hangs behind the penis. It contains the testicles, as well as many nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum acts as a climax control system for the testes. For normal sperm development, the testes must be at a temperature slightly cooler than body temperature. Special muscles in the wall of the scrotum allow it to contract and relax, moving the testicles closer to the body from worth or farther away. The testicles are oval organs about the size of large olives that lie in the scrotum, secured at either end by a structure called the spermatic cord. The testes are responsible for making testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, We're gonna kill and for generating sperm. Within the testes are coiled masses of tubes called seminiferous tubules. These tubes are responsible for producing sperm cells. The epididymis is a long, coiled tube that rests on the backside of each testicle. It transports and stores sperm cells that are produced in the testes. It also is the job of the epididymis to bring the sperm to maturity. During sexual arousal, contractions force the sperm into the vas deferens. The vas deferens is a long, muscular tube that travels from the epididymis into the pelvic cavity to just behind the bladder. The vas deferens transports mature sperm to the urethra, the tube that carries urine or sperm to outside of the body in preparation for ejaculation. The seminal vesicles, the prostate gland, and the calpers gland all contribute to the male reproductive system. The seminal vesicles produce a sugar-rich fluid that provides sperm with a source of energy to help them move. The prostate gland adds fluids so the sperm can move easier. And the calpers gland adds fluid that serves to lubricate the urethra 